Hello and welcome back to yet another live AMA session with Newton School. We a lot of times aspire to get into some of the best product-based companies out there. Dream 11 or DreamX, the subsidiary company, is one such organization that a lot of students aspire to get into. Uh, Akshay here is someone who got placed at Dream 11 and now is working with DreamX. Um, I'm sure that his work excites him, but what today uh, I am excited to know is how Akshay's journey turned out um, and how he got into Dream 11. Uh, thank you so much, Akshay, for taking time out for us today to talk to us and share your journey. Um, like I said, I'm super excited to know more about how um, you know your journey expanded and how you ended up uh, getting a job at uh, Dream 11. Um, so Akshay, while of course our audience is watching and can ask questions to us in the live chat, um, can you tell me, did you always aspire to get into a company like Dream 11? Um, what was your plan of action when you know you decided that you want to join Newton School? Yeah, uh, thank you for having me here. So uh, I'm a 2020 pass out and uh, uh, I didn't like, I completed my graduation. Then I was exploring different options for these coachings because uh, the teachings in college were not sufficient enough as per market standards. And a neutral school was one such option. Also the payment policy, I was more intrigued by the payment policy, I would say. And uh, I discovered it on LinkedIn, uh, inquired about it and joined Newton school. Awesome, awesome. So you were certain that you want to get a job, right, Akshay? Um, and during the pandemic, um, a lot of people faced difficulties in getting jobs. Um, yes. Um, did you come to Newton School from the perspective that you want to get placed? Um, and if you did, were you certain you wanted to get placed in a product-based company or a service-based company? Did you, have a, did you have a direction from that angle? Yeah, uh, I joined Newton School. I was uh, more. In, I was interested in the uh, structure of the yeah the payment structure and the, how they are teaching and the placement policy too. Because after five months, we were told that we would be referred to various companies, and it was time of COVID, so there were no uh, college placements going on. Everything was shut, and, uh, and there was an assurance that after completing this course, we would be referred to various companies. And uh, since uh, everyone uh, aspires for a product-based company, so I did too. And uh, I was referred in many companies and lastly got placed in Dream Lab. Awesome. So Akshay, you mentioned that, you know, you came to Newton School with a perspective of learning as well as uh, getting a placement, right? Yeah. Um, let's talk a little bit about the learning part of it. Uh, can you tell me how was your first initial experience when you joined Newton School? Um, did you start adapting to the kind of uh, learning opportunities that were provided by Newton School? Did you start learning and um, getting what a hang of uh, all the subjects that were taught to you? How was your initial experience? Yeah, so before joining Newton School, I, I knew only the basics. I am from CS background, but not great at coding. So I cleared the tests, joined, and uh, initially it was good. Uh, I mean, uh, the pace started picking up lately and uh, we had to keep up with it. There were homeworks, uh, assignments, and uh, uh, weekly challenges. So it was fun because we were, uh, we were in a group, right? A group of several people and there was competition in, in us and with everyone. So. Competition led to uh, more hard work and uh, yeah, uh, doing those things. And gradually there were times when we were stuck, our mentor would help. And uh, yeah, so there were also times when uh, rejection, uh, facing rejection was tough, but uh, nonetheless, uh, there were, uh, teachers were always there. Awesome. So you you very nicely mentioned that you know you you had your mentors to kind of you know guide you um, throughout your time at Newton School. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how your rapport with your mentor was? Yeah. Uh, so uh, my mentor she would always uh, encourage all the people in our group, our ten people group, and uh, even though it was a weekend or a late night. 
we would pose our problems and uh, she would always be there with some solution with some article and there were times when she would always be there with some motivation as well uh, see what and that uh, you will face these things they i have done this i'm telling you from the experience and her experience helped us very much awesome so you know you said that you know it was a combination of learning while you were you know uh, being guided by your mentor yeah. um can you tell me a little bit about um, you know how did you deal with the um, issue of dsa um you know a lot of students come to us and say they're not very good with dsa like you said you knew basics of everything even when you were from a cs background um can you tell us how did you look at dsa and then how did you kind of you know make sure that your journey yes. turned towards it yeah it is always a most dreading subject <laughs> for many out there and uh, so i would say only practice is the key and nothing else at first i was uh, facing uh issues like uh, i would spend hours and hours on a single question but uh, only with practice and uh, i was able to solve more and more uh, keeping a target of solving at least two questions three questions five questions per day or learning a new topic learning a new method to solve like uh, even in dsa there are several methodologies which can help solve a number of questions so picking up those methods uh, it helped Makes so, practice is the key, I would say. Superb, superb. That's great advice, Akshay. So, um, you know, you you mentioned that you know you had a good training in terms of you know refining your technical knowledge. You also made sure that your your um, with with your fellow students, with your peers, you had the kind of competition and bond that you could learn with them. Yes. And then you had your mentor who was guiding you constantly. um after all of this um can you tell me a little bit about how you approached your your mock interviews um the reason why i'm asking this is because uh to get placed in a good organization you need to have good technical skills but you also need to know how you will communicate that in an interview right? yes so how did you manage your mock interviews were you always confident or was it a learning curve for you when it comes to mock interviews yeah there was a learning curve after first two or three mock interviews uh it it was a kind of real time situation like right the mock interviewers they were working in microsoft and uh, other big companies and they and uh, they would pose questions uh not always easy ones right so uh, there was learning curve but uh, only through practice uh, after attempting three or four mocks i was able to answer more and more questions and that built my confidence confidence awesome. yeah awesome awesome so actually you know you now uh, were at a juncture where your interview skills were also refined um and you had good technical knowledge as well uh like we started when we started we spoke about the aspiration of getting into a, a dream company and you for that matter got placed at dream 11 um and its subsidiary dream x um how was that process for you like uh, how did the entire placement process happen for you yeah so uh there were many uh, interview rounds more than 3 or 4 and uh, at first i was skeptical about the process that uh, i would i make it would i not but uh, i went with the flow answered the questions uh, as they as they were posed and uh, yeah and left the rest to i'm um, answering the questions and whatever will happen let's see yeah that was my confidence yeah, it if it happens if i make it i make it if i don't there would be other companies i would get referred to and that built my confidence i was not afraid of losing super that's that's a great approach of akshay now akshay you know now that you were placed um, and your aspiration like we were sp- speaking to each other earlier to get a job in the pandemic during the pandemic is a big thing um and to get a job in a company like dream 11 um is a bigger thing um so akshay you know if you could tell me um 
how did you feel the moment you knew that you had cracked it yeah so uh, it was an evening and uh, i was in delhi at the time i got a call from placement coordinator newton school that i'm placed and i I'm, i was placed uh, while i was at newton school i was placed at two companies but i chose the other so uh, i t- i told her i told ma'am that uh, i don't know what to say i'm speechless and i don't know what to say and uh, and again i told her uh, so can i call my parents i, I, I was not believing uh, <laughs> believing it right <laughs> can i call my parents and tell them that i got a job and she was like yeah you can tell them it has been confirmed and i was happy i called my parents right away and told them that i am placed superb superb aksha like you a lot of people who are watching this live uh, conversation right now and also who are aspiring to make a great career in tech uh, they want to know uh, you know based on your journey based on your experiences uh, the decisions that you make um what advice would you give to them uh what do you think that they must do um to make sure that they also get placed in a, a company like dream 11 yeah so uh, first and foremost rounds there would always be dsa and no one can skip from it right so uh making a structure of learning dsa making uh, solving one or two questions per day uh not giving high not making high expectations but at least two question because there will be other topics to learn too and uh, yeah at first you people would tend to spend more time because it's obvious they are not aware of the process but uh, not giving up and uh, practice these two are the things that would make an expert in dsa also uh there are ample amount of questions on uh, newton's site itself and uh, if you can crack that uh, they are of medium level from other different lead code and all so there are ample amount of questions if you can solve that uh, you are good to go and uh, i was uh, at first i would i was not in uh, the top rank top rankers so i would often get demotivated but mentor would always be there and like uh, this is the phase you have to go through it Uh, once you will learn you will improve your ranks and you'll go, do good and that's i did so there after uh, there were front end started and uh, yeah front end uh, i tend to spend more time on react part yeah once uh, you get to learn react it is very easy as of now uh, <laughs> i'm working on it or working on the projects and uh, that's it Awesome. any questions specific questions that people might have i'll be get let to answer we we can wait a little bit for the audience to send us questions um what is the selection process um, of newton school um, do you want to hi- talk about that a little bit how was your process to get into newton school the admission process sachin yeah so there was a test at first i appeared for the test there were questions uh, the uh, programming questions as well and aptitude as well both of them are important if one is good in, at aptitude uh, he would be good at dsl later and thereafter we had a face to face interview we were asked some uh, some questions based on dsl as well and uh, that's it if you are good with the basics you can do it because there are, there is another 5 to 6 months to learn further right so that's it Yep. Awesome. I think uh, Aslam I hope uh, Akshay has been able to answer your question. Um uh, like like he said there's a simple process of admission. Uh you apply at Newton School we're open for our November batch. The applications are open at this point of time. You can simply go and apply um, and follow the steps. You will take a small test. um where you would be taking up questions related to programming as well as a little bit of aptitude uh, these questions are not um high programming intensive so don't worry even if you are from a different stream if you're not from cs background you'd be able to crack it um and once you're through with the exam you get into the pre course um i hope we've answered your question um thank you so much 
Akshay for joining us today. Um, it's been a delight talking to you and um, great to have you today, uh, here today. Thank you. Thank you for having me.